Hello, so my name is Chloe and today I'm going to be doing my August wrap up video. So I'm going to be sharing with you the books that I read in August. Now if you've seen my previous video of the books that I plan to read in August, then you are soon going to see that I absolutely nailed my August TBR list. I read every single one of my books on my list and then some. So I'm very proud of myself. I had a fantastic month in August. So let's get started. So the first book that I've read in the month of August was Because of Low by Abby Glines. Now I occasionally really like to read a uh, contemporary new adult novel, specifically one that's fairly small, not a very long story, not very complicated, um, just to kind of break up all the fantasy novels that I tend to read. So I did read this one in August and I did really enjoy it. This book is about a young adult girl. I think she's in her early 20s. This was the first book that I read in August so I can't exactly remember exactly how old she is but I'm sure she's in her early 20s and she's having some serious familial issues. She's got a bit of a crazy sister and so Willow takes refuge with one of her best friends named Cage. So she actually starts sleeping at his apartment because she's been kind of kicked out of her own place and then that's how she meets none other than the male co-star of this book I suppose Marcus and they kind of start up this romancy type thing but of course there's all these background issues that are going on that we kind of slowly learn to discover and they've both got some issues in the past that they kind of come together and sort out and then everything blows up and they come back together your typical young adult new adult romance-ish type novel. And while I did really enjoy it, I'll probably only give this a 3 out of 5 stars. It wasn't the best book that I read in August. Also because I didn't realise when I picked this up off the shelf at Kmart that it was actually part of a series. So this is the second book and I didn't read the first. I don't think it would have jarred my impression of this book too much though because they were about completely different characters um, that are just kind of in the background in this book. So this book it's about two different characters completely than the first book so I don't feel like it spoiled me too much and I don't really think that I would go back and read the first one or I think there's two more after this one. I'm, I wasn't intrigued to go read more. While I did enjoy it, it was a quick, fast, easy read. It wasn't one of my favourites but I still did enjoy it. So if you're after a quick, easy read, I would recommend this book or any book that Abby Glines writes actually. I've read quite a few of her novels in the past and I've enjoyed them all. So there we go. The next book that I've read in August was The Heart of Betrayal by Mary E. Pearson. Now I have very very few words to say about this book because I just can't express how much I truly truly love this book, this series actually. I have a book review on the first book which is The Kiss of Deception so if you wanted to go check that out you'll find it in my channel. And I've also done a book review for this one, which is the second book. So if you want to check that out, go find it now or after this video. Either or either. It's up to you. So if you want to learn more about what this book is about, I'm not going to go into too much detail because it will spoil you for the first book if you haven't read it. So I would go check out those book reviews now that are on my channel. But this gets an absolute 5 out of 5 stars. 10 out of 5 stars if I could give it that inflated amount I would give it. I love this book. I It's magic. <laughs> magic in words. It's so good. <sighs> the next book that I read in August I had been waiting for for a very long time. I picked up one of the first books in this trilogy a very long time ago and I absolutely fell in love with it. It was so good and that is End of Days. Now this is the final installment in the Penrin and the End of Days trilogy and it is really really good. I really enjoyed it. It was a satisfying ending but I felt like it moved so quickly. Everything happened bang bang one after the other. I barely felt I had time to breathe and take it all in. It was very very quick but all in all, I love the whole series. I would give this a four and a half out of five stars. I really, really liked it. I love this trilogy and I really hope that Susan E brings us some more books because she clearly has a fantastic imagination. So this book is about a post-apocalyptic post world where angels come in and take over the earth and the dregs of humanity are trying to survive. The main character, Penryn, who is the 
like kind of human protagonist and Raffi who is kind of the angel protagonist slash antagonist I would suppose because the angels are the bad guys and it's just it's a really interesting story I'm not going to go into too much detail about what this specific book is about because if you haven't read the first two books it's going to spoil you so I will not do that but I have a book review out for this book so if you have read the other two books I will go into more detail about this book and if you wanted to check out that review I will link it in the doodad down below for you as well as the other reviews that I mentioned now the next book that I read in August, again, I choose kind of quick easy reads to kind of break up all the fantasy books that I read. So I chose Be With Me by Jennifer L. Armentrout. Now I'm probably going to talk about Jennifer L. Armentrout a fair bit in this particular video. I read two of her books this month, so I'm going to refer to her as JLA just to kind of minimize the amount of syllables whilst saying her name because it's quite a mouthful. Yeah. So this is part of a series that JLA has written which is called the Wait For You series where the first book it's about your couple coming together and then you meet some of the secondary characters who later on become primary characters in the other books. So this follows if you've read the first book you will have been introduced to Cam and Avery. So this book goes into the lives of Cam's little sister Teresa and Cam's best friend Jace. So Teresa, the main character in this book, she's always wanted to be a dancer, so when she has an ACL injury, which is a like an antio, antio crucial ligament knee injury, it's bad guys, it's bad, don't do it, don't hurt your knee that way, it's bad. When she sustains this injury, her dreams of becoming a dancer kind of start disappearing into the wind, so she has to think of a plan B, which is going to college. So she goes to college where her brother Cam is, and of course she she knows Jace because Jace is Cam's best friend and so she's kind of grown up with Jace and she's kind of harbored this crush on him for a very long time but he feels kind of off limits to her because it's he's older than her and it's his her brother's best friend and it's all like oh it would never be oh gosh so it's an interesting enough read for a young adult novel there is plenty going on in the background that's always going to keep you interested there's a lot of of stuff in Teresa's past that we learn about and there's a lot of stuff in Jace's past that we learn about as well and we get to see them overcoming their past fears and problems and issues together and it's beautiful and it's magical and it's just a wonderful story and this is a new adult novel that JLA has brought to us so there is some sexy time so if you enjoy a little bit of the sexy time then this will probably be a really good book for you to pick up it's it's light it's easy and it's fun and I really enjoyed it I would give this a five out of five stars I don't know when I haven't given JLA's book a five out of five because I just love the way she writes she is just a word magician. She is. She's a word magician. And the next book that I read in August was a reread for me. I have read it previously in the past. I remembered really enjoying it and the second book has recently come out so I wanted to just refresh my memory make sure that I still really like this book before I proceeded to the second and that was Stolen Songbird by Danielle L. Jensen. Now I have also posted a book review for this one on my channel so if you wanted to go check it out I'll summarize it in a more lengthier way but basically this book is about uh, the main character, her name is Cecile, and she gets kidnapped and brought to the lost city of Trollis. Now, this is about trolls, so it's really amazing because I've never read anything about trolls before. If there are other books about trolls, please tell me about it below in the comments because I haven't really come across many books about trolls. It was just so interesting. Anyway, I'm getting sidetracked. So Cecile gets kidnapped and she finds herself in this lost underground city for trolls. Now humans have always known that trolls used to exist, but they believed that they'd been extinct thousands and thousands of years ago. Now this isn't correct. Basically what happened is somebody laid a curse on the trolls and the mountain broke and fell on top of their kingdom which is called Trollis and basically trapped them underneath a mountain and they were not able to 
to pass through the boundaries because of the curse that was placed on them. So the trolls managed to survive by trading with humans and only select few humans were allowed to know that the trolls existed. The trolls kind of eased out of the history and people began to think that they had become extinct because no one saw trolls around anymore. Now trolls are feared because they're so powerful and they've got magic and they're really strong and it's it's just really really interesting. So Cecile is brought to this place because there is a prophecy that somebody matching Cecile's description is going to help to break the curse and allow the trolls to come back out into the human world. But only if she gets married to the main prince named Tristan. Now if you're wondering if the trolls are kind of weird looking, well some of them are, but that is the result of some inbreeding as you can imagine. If a race was trapped inside a mountain, there's not really many options for you, so uh, it happens. It's kind of gross, but it happens. So some do turn out a little bit deformed, some have two heads, some are grown together and it's kind of weird, but most of them look just like humans. They look quite normal. Except they're not normal, they have magical abilities and they're super strong and it's just really cool in general. So if that sounds like a bit of you, then I would highly recommend that you go pick it up. It's a really, really great read and look how beautiful the cover is. It just, it just gives you and such great imagery of what you're in for, the, the dank, green, dark looking underground, but it's, it's pretty cool. My voice just broke. It's pretty cool, so I would definitely recommend it. I gave this a 5 out of 5 stars, and I'm really looking forward to getting stuck into the second book, which is called Hidden Huntress, and I'll be reading that in the month of September. I'm sure of it. And the book that I just legitimately finished about 10 minutes ago before I started filming this video was Poison Study by Maria V. Schneider. Now, this book is really good. I had heard that it was good, but I didn't know how good it was going to be until I read it. And I, it's, it's really good. So, so this book is about a prisoner who has committed a murder. Now she has murdered somebody and she's in the dungeons and she's set for execution, but she's given a choice. She can face the noose and be hung for her crimes, or she be can become the new poison tester for the commander of their kingdom. So of course, who wouldn't choose to live rather than die straight away? Of course, it would be kind of a, a hesitant yes to be a poison tester because for one choice you have, at least you know when death is coming, and for the other choice, when you're testing for poisons, which happens regularly apparently, you don't know when your death is going to come. So that can be a little bit um, stressful, as you can imagine. So this book is really, really incredibly interesting. We get to learn about a whole bunch of poisons that are based in this world, and we learn how she learns to defend herself and learn about all the poisons and it's just it's, it's really really interesting I would highly recommend this I'll probably do a proper book review for it sometime in the next week and I'll post that to give you a better synopsis but it's really good so highly recommended five out of five stars and I'm a bit of a five out of five stars whore today I'm just throwing them out there it's happening. And the final book that I read in the month of August, it was actually an audiobook. So I read it from my phone via audio. So I didn't read it, I listened to it, but same difference. I still read the book. And that is White Hot Kiss by JLA. Now I really love this series. This was also a reread for me because the final book has just come out and I read White Hot Kiss and Stone Cold Touch a long time ago. It probably wasn't that long ago, but I never say no to a chance to read more JLA, even if it is just a reread. Um, so I chucked that on an audiobook and I listened to it on my very long trip to the Gold Coast that I did last week. It's a seven hour trip there and a seven hour trip back, so why not sit back, relax? These are my favorite headphones in the whole world. So if you have not heard of White Hot Kiss by JLA, it is the Dark Elements trilogy which is based on demons versus gargoyles and it's super interesting. The main character of this book, her name is Layla, she is actually part demon and part warden. The wardens are the gargoyles so she kind of has this inner conflict where she doesn't really know where she belongs and also her demonic side gives her the ability to suck out souls with a single kiss. So of course that presents a bit of a problem because she really 
really tries to be one of the wardens so sucking out a soul is like the worst thing that you can do from the warden's perspective she tries really hard to squash this ability within her and she has this like desperate need to do it so it's it's really interesting watching her internal struggle and turmoil and of course also she has obviously never kissed a boy because how is she going to she'll suck out his soul that's a bit of a damper on any relationship i would say so of course when she meets the main demon of the story his name is roth and i love roth uh, she kind of starts to feel quite connected to him even though she is a demon and she's been brought up to hate and fear the demons even though she is part demon she, which is kind of sad because she's kind of taught to hate part of herself by growing up with the wardens but anyway so when she meets Roth of course it's like well demons don't have souls so problem solved and it's just a really interesting story like all JLA stories. It's a really, really fascinating plot. Very unique. I've really enjoyed the Demons vs. Wardens. I enjoyed Gargoyles in a story for once, which is also something I haven't really seen much of. Just like the Trolls. I absolutely adore this series and the second book is Stone Cold Touch. I've got that on audiobook also so I'm going to be listening to that in the next couple of weeks and then I'm going to be picking up the last installment, Every Last Breath, which came out like a week or so ago. Maybe a little bit further away than that but I just got my physical copy in the mail. Here it is! Ooh, look at that. Ooh, it's bright. It's gonna mess up the white the white balance. But there it is. Okay, it's come up now. Every Last Breath by JLA, so it's just come out and I just got this in the mail and I cannot wait to read it, but I'm first going to just refresh my memory on how much I love this series by listening to the audiobook of the second book, Stone Cold Touch, and then I'll be jumping right into this straight away, head first jumping into it. <laughs> so that's a bit of a sneak peek into my September TBR, but that's a whole nother story. A whole nother video I meant to say, but the story just came out, which I will be filming in the next couple of days and I'll be posting it shortly. So let me know what books you've read in the month of August. I would really love to know. And if you've read any of the books that I've shared with you today, please let me know what you thought. And if you agreed with my comments and thoughts, I would love to hear. I'll also be linking all of the reviews that I mentioned that I have for the books that I've read. And I will link them down below for you if you would like quick and easy access to them if you wanted to go check them out as well. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. And I will be back at you with another video shortly. Bye! chose wait for you no that's the first book damn that's right right yeah i'm right <laughs>